Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, on so today's video, in today's video, I've been wanting to make one of these videos for the longest because even though I do have so many perfumes, there's still so many perfumes out there in the perfume world, perfumes that I've never tried out, perfumes that I've never heard or have heard but I've never tried that house. So in today's video, I want to talk about 10 perfumes that I want to buy but these are the most, I guess, expensive perfumes out there. And these are obviously perfumes that I haven't gotten my hands on because the price tag a little bit up there so before I blind buy one of these perfumes I would like to get an input on people out there who probably have tried these perfumes and to give me a little bit of like uh, input whether these perfumes are worth the price tag or not so yeah I have 10 or I think it's 11 perfumes that I have right here so if you are familiar with this house if you are familiar with this perfume please let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below because I would love to try these perfumes and I have been doing my homework on these perfumes but I just haven't been able to pretty much slide my credit card and get them because like I said the price tag is a little bit high up there to just blind buy these perfumes so let me start off with the first one so the first one that I have here is from the house of Byredo I've never tried any perfumes from this house but I have heard good things about these perfumes and this one's called Vanille Antique and this one is described as an amber woody vanilla musky perfumes which is what I like in my perfumes I like vanilla I like a little bit of amber a little bit of woodsy but I do like musky perfumes and this one really did catch my attention and this one has a hefty price of $335 for a 1.7 fluid ounce which is a lot of money for a little bottle I think the typical bottles are 3.5 3 point so on and so forth but yeah this one does intrigue me a lot I really do want to try this one but I'm scared to blind buy a perfume for this price tag and I like it and I hate returning expensive perfumes back to the stores because they do throw away these perfumes or they dispose of them but yeah this is one of those perfumes that I really want to try because it just looks really really good and according to Fragantica it does have notes of plum, musk, wood, vanilla and amber so yeah it's one of those perfumes that sounds like it's right up my alley but who knows if it's good or not but I do want to try this perfume and again this is from the house of Byredo and it's called Vanille Antique. All right, moving on to the second one. So the second one that I have here is from a house called La Maison Valmont. I've never heard of this house. I've never heard of these perfumes, but this is one of those perfumes that popped up as my suggestions. And this one's called Mica de Oro I. This one is a unisex perfume and it's described as an oriental type of perfume. It has notes of vanilla, rum, and whipped cream. Just three simple notes. And I don't know about perfumes with rum in it. I have tried perfumes with rum in it and I feel like they just smell a little too tobacco-ish for me but again it is described as an oriental type of perfume so I'm guessing it is going to have that leathery sweet type of perfume or type of scent and this is another one of those perfumes that just intrigues me only because it has vanilla and whipped cream but also rum I don't know just three simple notes but it can go left or it can go right but this perfume also has a hefty price tag of $490 for a 100 ml but I don't know you guys I $500 almost $500 for a perfume can you ima imagine blind buying a $500 perfume getting it and just hating it it's like uh, I don't know but I have to say this bottle really intrigues me the bottle is really really nice and just the, the notes even though the notes are really simple and plain I'm curious <laughs> I'm curious and curiosity killed the cat so I would like to to see what this perfume smells like and again this is from the house of La Maison Valmont and this is Mika Di Oro I. All right, so moving on to the next one. So the next one comes from the house of Antonio Crochet. I've never heard of this brand and I've never heard of these perfumes. And this perfume is called Sophisticata and this is a vanilla sweet amber perfume. I've noticed that I've picked a lot of vanilla sweet amber perfumes. Uh, but yeah, this perfume looks really, really, really nice. I really like the bottle on this one. It has watery notes, lemon, white flowers, vanilla, tonka bean, white musk, and amber. It just has a lot of great notes and 
I really like the bottle and this one does retail at Neiman Marcus for $375 and this is a 3.4 fluid ounce and it is an Eau de Parfum. Well on the website it's called Sophisticata Extrait de Parfum and it is a 3.4 fluid ounce and it's $375. I have to say this is one of those perfumes that I probably would blind buy because $375 is better than $500 and I kind of do like the notes on this one a lot more than the other ones but yeah you guys I don't know this is one of those perfumes that I really want to try those notes are like calling my name and I really want to try perfumes from other houses that I've never heard of or I've never tried that's how you really fall in love with different perfumes and I think this one came out in 2017 so it's not that old but it's not the newest either so yeah this is from again Antonio Crochet and this is called Sophisticata all right moving on to the next one so the next one comes from the house of Versace so a house that we are all familiar with and this one's called Vanille Rouge and again this is for women men and women so unisex perfume I just literally realized that right now so we have another unisex perfume this one has notes of vanilla rose almond and musk so it seems like a nice sweet floral perfume i really like the bottle on this perfume the bottle for this one is just beautiful i like the black and i like the gold but i also do like the cap on top the medusa head on top it's just a beautiful beautiful bottle and this one does retail for 350 dollars and it is a 100 ml and again this seems like one of those perfumes that i just really want to try and honestly to be honest with you this is again one of those perfumes that i would blind buy because the bottle is beautiful i do like versace perfumes and the notes of this perfume do intrigue me so yeah this one again is from the house of Versace and this is called Vanille Rouge all right so moving on to the next one so the next one comes from none other than Christian Louboutin and this one's called Luby Prince Snake El de Parfum Intense now I have to be honest with you I've tried some of the Luby World perfumes from Christian Louboutin and I was not a fan of that collection he did release three Louboutin perfumes this one's called Luby Prince and there's two other ones but out of the other two or out of the three this is the one that kind of got my attention and this one does retail for 266 dollars but i'll be honest with you this is not something that i would blind buy because when i tried the other ones from the luby world collection i was not feeling i think i was only feeling like one or two and there's like eight in that collection I don't remember but this one right here is kind of calling my name and I just realized once again this is a unisex perfume and it is an amber woody vanilla perfume I don't know what is it about like maybe it's because it's the winter time but I literally picked a lot of amber woody vanilla perfumes so yeah this one has notes of tonka beans sandalwood and vanilla so i don't know you guys this is just a perfume that i would love to try i want to get my hands on a sample before i decide to buy like a full bottle i don't have any christian Baton perfumes but i would love to own at least one in my lifetime not because they're expensive or because it's christian Baton, but just because the bottles are so beautiful but the, the the beauty of the bottle to me doesn't match the scent i still haven't been able to find a scent that I personally like. I know they have. He did release one called Luby Mar. There has been so many good reviews on that perfume, and I do want to get. I do want to get a sample of that one too. But I don't know. It seems like that perfume would be like a lemony lemon type of perfume. I don't know. But this one right here, this one is calling my name. I really like the bottle. I really like the design, and the notes are. I don't know 50 50 i guess but yeah again this is from christian louboutin and this is called luby prince snake elder parfum and again this one retails for 266 dollars all right so moving on to the next one so the next one is from the house of oud now i have heard about this house but i've never tried any perfumes from this brand and i've never even tried a sample from this brand so i don't know how this brand smells but the house of oud i don't know I don't know about the oud part. I don't like perfumes with oud in it. I just don't like the note oud. It's a personal thing, but I just it, it just doesn't go well with me. But this one is called Almond Harmony, and this is a 2.5 Eau de Parfum, and this one retails for 240 
dollars. The thing that I really like about this perfume is that it has notes of vanilla, almond, and it's powdery, it's sweet, it has notes of amber. It just has all those great notes that I love in a perfume. So it has notes of almond, orange blossom, two of my favorite notes in a perfume, and it has notes ylang ylang and iris, two of my favorite notes in a perfume and it, of course it has vanilla tonka bean and musk i mean it does have a lot more notes but these are the notes that i really like in perfumes and i've noticed that vanilla is really really popular in perfumes but yeah this is just one of those perfumes that i probably would blind buy but i'm just scared that it's going to smell i don't know like Udi, like maybe I won't like it because or maybe it's just the name of the brand the house of Oud but I don't know you guys if anyone has tried this brand please let me know because I would like to know what these perfumes smell like and I think the bottles are really really cute with the egg on top I think that's just it's unique and it's definitely different so yeah I would love to try this perfume and again this is called Almond Harmony by the house of Oud all right so moving on to the next one so the next one is from a really popular house and this one's from Christian Dior and this one's called Vanilla Diorama and this one is a 4.25 ounce and it retails for 310 dollars this is described as a warm spicy vanilla woody perfume and it also has notes of rum wow it <laughs> this one again is a unisex perfume i swear i didn't even know any of these perfumes were unisex but um yeah it has notes of orange pink pepper lemon rum cacao vanilla sandalwood and patchouli i don't know it sounds like a bougie scent it sounds like a night out sexy type of scent i have seen a lot of comments on this perfume and the comments are kind of like 50 50 people like it and people hate it they love it and they dislike it i don't know but this perfume i see a lot of people talk about it and I've never been able to try it or test it out but I do want to get my hands on this type of perfume or this perfume because I really want to smell it and I do like Dior perfumes I think Dior has a lot of great perfumes out there but this one right here is one that has caught my attention and I want to try it they do have the 1.35 ounce for $125 but I say go big or go home when it comes down to perfumes so I don't know I'll probably give this one a try and this one is from Christian Dior and this one's called Vanilla Diorama all right so moving on to the next two so the next two that I have here are from the same brand and this is the house of silage and we have cherry garden signature and the batman so the cherry garden perfume is described as a floral almond vanilla fruity perfume and i have to say i have heard about this brand and i've always wanted to try this brand but i've never been able to buy a perfume because they have so 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 many but after going through a lot of their perfumes i narrow it down to these two these two are the ones that just really got my attention this one has notes of bergamot cherry blossom almond vanilla white musk and sandalwood so it does seem like your typical sweet yet fruity floral type of perfume and i really really like that but the one that really got my attention is the batman one well it's called the batman hero and this one is described as a musky amber powdery perfume i do like musky perfumes this one has candy apple pear tonka bean jasmine musk amber oak moss patchouli so on and so forth so yeah this is one of those perfumes that i'm like i can't think of what it would smell like maybe it's sweet maybe it's floral maybe it's juicy maybe it's fruity i don't know but the bottle for this perfume looks so beautiful it's just a beautiful 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 bottle i think all of their cupcake bottles are so so pretty but yeah these are the two that i want to try but i do know that they have another perfume out there that it's like straight up sweet vanilla if anybody's familiar with this brand and know what i'm talking about please let me know but yeah these are the two perfumes that i saw out of all of the ones that i was checking out the two that really got my attention and i really want to try that and these retail for 395 dollars all right you guys i'm moving on to the last two so i have to say these last two are the two that i really really want to get my hands on i have smelled one of them and i am going to just like swipe my car and just get it because they just 
ah this perfume smells really really good so we have two from the house of bond number nine and we have green witch village and new york nights and they both retail for 460 dollars for a 100 ml now i have to say the price tag is a little bit hefty it is quite up there but the perfume that I want to get out of these two is the Green Witch Village. And I have to say, I have smelled this perfume. And when I smelled it, I was like, whoa, this perfume smells so, so, so freaking good. It's like an aquatic, sweet perfume. It's kind of hard to describe this perfume, you guys. But this perfume is so freaking good that I do believe it's worth the price tag. So it is a fresh, fruity, floral perfume. It does have notes of vanilla, musk, lychee, mandarin, orange, peony, praline, and ambrixin. But the scent overall is just beyond me. I really want to get my hands on this one. And I definitely am going to get my hands on this perfume sometime this year maybe a birthday gift i don't know but i really want to get this one and then the second one new york night this one is described as a caramel warm spicy perfume so like a sweet perfume this one has notes of gardenia flowers patchouli caramel coffee and sea notes so again i've never tried this perfume i've never smelled this perfume but i have heard good things about this perfume and again this is from a bond number nine and this is called new york nights and green witch village but yeah you guys that is pretty much it for today's video i have to say these are perfumes that i really want to get i really want to try so if anybody has tried these perfumes please let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below because i want to get my hands on these perfumes sometime this year and that's that's very little like only 11 perfumes versus like millions and millions of perfumes out there so if you have any other suggestions besides these i would like to know your suggestions or your opinions and any other perfumes i don't really care about the price and i don't mean that in a cocky way but if you do have any suggestions whether it's like twenty dollars three hundred dollars four hundred dollars i'm all ears because i just I just love perfumes don't we all so yes please let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below if you guys like this video please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content if you're new to my channel hi my name is edgar o and i am obsessed obsessed with perfumes and everything in between so if that sounds like you stick around click that subscribe button click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload but right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait to be gossip on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye